Hey guys, welcome back to another video. It's your man Jay. So either this laptop is doing very well or it's doing very bad. Um, I haven't really seen, I don't know anybody else that actually has this laptop. I've seen a few uh, major websites review it, like Windows Phone Central. Uh, you know, they're going to review it because they're a Windows-based um, uh, society, if you will. And they review all things Windows. So... With that being said, I, I had someone on one of my videos that said, hey, you know, Jay, I don't even see this laptop. It's completely disappeared. Uh, and I got this back in December and, and almost the middle of December and we're heading into February. So uh, we're almost two months with the with the uh, device. Uh, and, you know, it's uh, someone someone thought it was going to be a catch and release. I, I did have a video where I was kind of complaining about some things that I but you, you, some things you just have a like and a dislike. But this has actually been pretty good to me. Uh, but the other person was commenting saying, Jay, you know, this thing's pretty much disappeared. Uh, and I, I did some research and I thought, wow, yeah, it's not on Best Buy anymore for some reason. Uh, but let me see if I can find it on Best Buy live on this video. But it is still available through Lenovo. Uh, but the shipping times have drastically dropped back. Uh, to like a month. So I have this one right here in the middle with eight gigs of RAM. Uh, and they have this other one over here with four gigs of RAM. I don't recommend that you get the one with four gigs of RAM uh, because this Snapdragon 850 processor, uh, it's good, but it does have some downsides. So if you just wanted more memory, you want to go ahead and go up to this one over here. 900 bucks, I, you know, I don't, I don't think that's, you know, and this is after rebates, as you can see here. Uh, I don't, see that this is worth a thousand bucks compared to what I could get for a thousand bucks as far as performance goes and memory options. Uh, but it, it is good. This is a good laptop for now. Best Buy actually had it for about six something at the time. Uh, so let's see here. Let's go. Let's see here. Best Buy. Now, let's see if they actually have it back on the Best Buy website, because when I looked on the Best Buy website, it, it just wasn't here. It was nowhere to be found. And I was like, where did it go? Snapdragon 8. Here we go. So I wonder if it's available or not still, because it just disappeared. Yeah, see, I don't see because this isn't it. So it's, it's like Best Buy stopped selling it. Uh, and, um, now you can only get it on Lenovo's site, but I think this is probably, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, a clear indication that this probably won't be getting in any more production, uh, th at least sales through Best Buy, uh, that is, so I didn't try anywhere else, uh, but, um, I'm going to search here cause you know, I was kind of concerned myself and I'll give you, I'm going to talk about the, uh, the laptop itself. It, it, it's, it's a good laptop. It's a good laptop. Uh, and it's 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 going to be one of those ones where, you know, if you want LTE, it, it, you, you have to have a reason to buy this one, I think. Uh, because, you know, it, it's available directly through, through Lenovo only at this point, it appears. Uh, but I don't think it did that well. So I think they're, they're definitely probably going to kind of drop this one off and try again. Um all these articles are from a long time ago, looks like. Uh, but yeah, the, the, the laptop is a, is a good laptop. It's definitely not something that a person is going to run out and buy, especially for those prices. Uh, the Windows on Snapdragon thing is it's just what it is. The, the processor, I believe, is it works good. This is kind of an upscaled Snapdragon 845, if you will. And it handles some things very well. Uh, but it doesn't do a lot of things uh, that you might be able to do on a, a, a Windows laptop that's running an i5, obviously. Uh, so, But in my experience with this laptop, I specifically use this strictly to edit my website and do uh, lots of typing. Because this keyboard is absolutely gorgeous and it performs very well. I also use this in tent mode a lot when I'm watching movies and content like that. I don't use it. Uh, this is just kind of that stay by my side because it's light and compact, uh, portable. I traveled with this and I, it did give me a problem at CES where it kind of froze uh, and, and didn't. It kind of locked up uh, after I watched a full movie. I watched a movie and I was going to start on another movie while I was on that flight. And then it just kind of froze up. So I had to hold down the power button to get it to reboot. And that's happened a total of two times since owning this in the past 45 days. 
And that could happen to anything. Any Anything that's man-made and there's electronics inside, it can happen to it. So, um, I, I'm, but it's I, I, that actually has not happened to me. And I got the blue screen of death when I was at the airport. I was writing up a, um, you can also use it like this. I was writing up a article on the laptop and it froze and gave me the blue screen of death. And I was pretty perturbed about that, man. I was like, wow, are they serious right now? I posted it on Twitter, too. And just the overall performance of the laptop, it doesn't feel like it has 8 gigs of RAM. Uh, it, it feels like it has, like, 4 gigs of RAM at, at some point. That's why I said I don't I think you should grab the... Uh, if you're in the market for something like this, I don't think it would be wise to grab uh, the 4 gig model because I think you'd probably be in a bad situation as far as not lag, but just a little stutteriness. Um, it's, it's a good laptop for editing and basic Word documents, but for that, you can grab a Chromebook. And the Chromebooks have no issues, and they cost nine times less. You could grab a 13-inch Chromebook right now uh, or an 11-inch for $200 probably, uh, especially the 11 inches. You can grab those 11 inches for 100 bucks, uh, and... Uh, they're just going to be better at, at the basics, you know, if that's what you want to do. Uh, this is a connected laptop. It does have a fingerprint reader. As you can see here, here is the SD card for the uh, SIM tray, which I do use. I put my T-Mobile SIM card in there. It's unlocked. It, this says it'll work better on Verizon, uh, but uh, I've been using it with T-Mobile and I haven't had any problems. Uh, the Type-C there and then the Type-C and headphone and power are over here. Uh, it's just a great looking laptop, lightweight, compact, convertible. Uh, if you don't know, that's what the C stands for. And then you log in with your fingerprint, which is just absolutely great. Uh, but outside of that, I, you know, this isn't a laptop that I would recommend uh, for a person who wants to do gaming or really intensive editing. I don't think it's a good idea. Uh, and, and the alternative to that definitely is to buy something like a MacBook or a more powerful Windows computer. Or one of their, their other two-in-ones that have an i7 in it for about the same cost. It's, it's, it's kind of crazy. That they're, but it's, that, it's this, this newness that they're trying to bring with the laptop itself, the Snapdragon. Oh, let's go ahead and, you know, let's get the Snapdragon on Windows out here and see how it does. But they would have needed to do something a little bit more powerful than this with far as RAM. and pro It just doesn't, it doesn't display the power that it probably could produce so but in my usage i don't have an issue with those few this those few things i actually really like this laptop and it could have been a catch and release i mean when i consider what it has it's a touchscreen it's convertible it has stereo speakers it has full-time lte like always on you know you power it up boom hit your fingerprint you're good. The trackpad is good. The keyboard is good. The build quality is good. The screen is good. There's a lot of good things about this, but the price is what throws me off. Uh, and the price is what will throw a lot of people off to where I, you know, I couldn't recommend that you buy this over. Uh, uh, there's Chromebooks out there that kind of perform better and they cost half the cost. And some of them cost, like I said before, eight times less. They cost a hundred bucks, you know, seven times less, a hundred bucks. So, you do the math on what you think is something that you want to get, but I had to give you a follow-up on this because I still use this every day just about when I'm sitting downstairs. It's so compact and light and thin, um, it's it's hard not to like it. Uh, it's it's really that good. And um, the front camera on it is actually really great. No problems with it. Um, you know, video chatting or doing a, a stream or something like that works out fine. You know, no issues whatsoever. So... This laptop kind of disappeared all of a sudden, but you know I can't recommend that you run out and buy this over several other laptops out there unless you just have to have this light, thin body with all those good features, um, you know, and you want that full-time LTE on your laptop. Uh, it does work uh, really good, too, because I, like I said, I travel with it, and it works great, so... Um, but that price is a hard sell, and, you know, I, I'm not going to sit on this video now after having it for so long and tell you... Yeah, I could recommend you run out and buy it. Honestly, if you're going to do basic web browsing and basic uh, basic word processing, a Chromebook will suit you just fine. And it's going to have that quick on. It's going to get all the updates. It's going to be fine. Uh, save yourself a lot of money uh, and pass on this one if you're just going to do that basic things like that. If you don't need LTE or anything like that, uh, I need LTE though. So, because uh, I got tired of being on a phone, uh, having the, you know, having the, I, I got tired of being on a, a phone 
and it, this is a big canvas, but this is a large canvas. So, uh, you know, I, I wanted to have more canvas to work with and still have LTE. And you know, that's what this offers me. It suits me in, in ways. Every user is completely different. Everyone's going to find a reason to like something. Uh, you know, I love the sound of the stereo speakers. I don't have a convertible anymore, so I have this convertible. Like, this is my only convertible, I should say. Uh, the keyboard on this thing is awesome for extended typing. It is just really, really good. It reminds me so much of the 2015 MacBook Pro I had, except better. Better. It's, 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 just, it's just awesome. Backlit keyboard, too. It's, it's really good. There's a lot that I like about this. Not going to try to convince you what, what to like about it, but I can tell you that for those that do own it, they probably definitely have similar dislikes like me, but there's probably something about it that they really love. And also, battery off the charts. They tell you 22 hours, but you know I can easily pull in, I think just about 24 or a little, about 25. So the battery is just stupendous. And that's something to be desired by a lot of people. So it's your man, Jay. Quick update on the Lenovo 2-in-1 Snapdragon on Windows. Um, I really enjoy this laptop. Daily used, uh, and it is just great. You know, I just you know I just noticed all of my laptops have stereo speakers. I just noticed that. Yep. Anyway, it's your man Jay. I will see you guys in the next video. Take care.